Okay, so we're starting with just taking a general look at shell quality and his overall appearance. Um, so his shell is looking pretty good here. Then we're going to look in his mouth. Oh, you're okay. And what we're looking at is his tongue, his mucous membrane colors, and just the overall appearance inside of his mouth. And he's trying to hide a little bit, and that's pretty normal. And then we're just feeling his neck and his lymph nodes in there. And we're feeling inside here to make sure everything feels good. And we can check his weight by the fat on his head. Um, so we're just looking for whether or not we can feel this little crest here. It makes him too thin. If we have a huge amount of fat here and in here, then, then we're too fat. If we've got sort of where he's at, then we're just about the right weight. And then we're sort of limited in how much we can feel internally. But we try and have him tilt all the organs that we can to one side so that we can feel anything. One of the big things we're trying to make sure we don't feel is bladder stones. In a female, sometimes we can feel eggs, sometimes we can't if they have them. We won't always be able to feel bladder stones if they have them either, but sometimes we can. You're okay. And then we have a special stethoscope just for the reptiles that lets us hear through the shell. With a regular stethoscope, we can't. And with that, we're just listening for if there's any wheezing in the lungs, if the heart rate is normal, um, and making sure that we don't hear any abnormal heart sounds. Hey, sweetie. And then we always like to turn them over and just take a look. Um, one, make sure that we're the sex we think we are. Um, so we do have a little boy here. And just to make sure that we don't see any abnormalities on the underside of the shell at all. And then he is having a fair amount of urates right now. So um, when he had his urine, there is on here some of this white sort of pasty material. And that is the uric acid urates that he passes. And it's normal to have some of them in their bladder, in their urine. Um, if we start seeing excessively large amounts for a particular tortoise, then we get worried about bladder stones. Um, and then the other thing when we're doing just the general look that we're looking at is their nails to make sure that they're normal size, shape, that they're not overgrowing. If they're overgrowing, that can be a sign of disease or a sign of that their habitat isn't correct and they're not getting to, to dig at all. Um, and when we look at the head, we also look at the eyes, which is one of the areas that we tend to see a lot of disease in these guys and look for any wheezing or any respiratory discharge from the nose. And that's about what we're looking for on the physical exam on these guys. Um, and then on him, we're gonna get some x-rays and just make sure that we don't find anything internal that's problematic and make sure that with the urates he's passing that we're not having any bladder stones. Okay, we should be all done. So this is the x-ray we took, and on this view, 
we've got him basically just sitting on the table in a normal position and the x-ray is going from the top of him through the bottom. Um, so this is his head up here and then we can see all of the bones in each leg um, and the surface of his shell. Um, and then main things we're looking for is his intestinal tract and it's very normal for tortoises to have a whole lot of poop in them and ingest in different food which is what we're seeing here and coming through here. Um, if we were going to have a bladder stone, it would be sitting right in here and um, he does not have a bladder stone. Um, but like I said, that's mainly what we're looking at on this view and all of his bone structure, which is good. And then we also have a view where basically he is being held up on his side so that the x-ray beam is going through his body. Um, and this lets us see the lungs, which we can't see on the other view. And so the lungs are right here um, and these are normal. We're just looking if we had pneumonia or problems with them, then we would see increased density in the lungs. The rest of this view, everything sort of just jumbles together so we don't get a lot of differentiation of the organ function, which is why we do both views on this. So he's looking like he's in really good health. Um, he's got good body condition score. You're okay. Um, like I said, we're looking at how much fat he has over his head, and that's a nice normal weight for him. His eyes and nose look really healthy, no wheezing. His heart and lungs sounded good when we listened to them. Um, he's walking around normal and has normal muscle mass on his legs. His shell is looking very healthy, and on his x-ray, we saw that there was um, normal amounts of stool in there, only a very little bit of gravel in his intestines, which a lot of these guys have much more so than he did normally, um, no bladder stones. So overall, we're looking like we're in great shape.